who came out to the track today truly got to experience the ultimate girls' day out. Three-year-old fillies took over the track today, and so did Pink in support of breast cancer survivors. For the sixth year in a row, Susan G. Komen Maryland was front and center. We're very fortunate to be partnering with Maryland Jockey Club on providing an incredible experience for many of our survivors. About 30 survivors plus one got to enjoy racing and good food. It's a lot of fun. They treat us really nicely. We get to sit in this really nice tent and have a wonderful day. And Komen does great things for us in the community also, so it's great. So I was really honored to be asked by Susan B. Komen I was diagnosed, diagnosed last July, and so we had a team develop for the run last October, and it's so it's just really important to me to get young women out there because only being 34 diagnosis with no family history is extremely important for people to realize the importance of awareness. This is a beautiful day. This is like, this is gorgeous. This day dedicated to the spirit and strength of women found lots of support from the guys. My girlfriend made me sure that I had ladies think on today. Inside the girls' galleria, women could shop all day. There was plenty of food and drink, big hats, and more. I see lots of florals, lots of color, lots of pink, lots of creativity. I see a lot, lot of people that are creating their own, adding to their hats, adding to their outfits, so very creative. Producer Lana Ray and her team spent part of the afternoon looking for ladies sporting their finest black-eyed Susan Day attire for the Hooves and Heels contest. Did I make you the list? Yes. You're like at the top five, maybe top three. How about number one? <laughs> number one. Last year, the event raised $15,000 for Komen. The organization is hoping this year's event does just as well. At Pimlico, Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News.